A long-awaited report from the United Nations is characterizing the climate crisis as a, quote, code red for humanity, a sobering assessment that concludes it's too late to prevent global warming from worsening in the coming decades, but leaves open the chance to turn the situation around if major players, including New Jersey, do their part. Leah Mishkin reports as part of our ongoing series on the human stories of climate change, peril and promise. More heat waves, greater sea level rise, heavier rainstorms, more intense hurricanes. How much more of these things we get depends on how much warming there is. And the globe has warmed by more than one degree Celsius since the last half of the 19th century, according to the United Nations new Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report put together by more than 200 authors from 66 countries. The IPCC report shows we're not far from the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold set by world leaders. It's quite possible that we will reach that 1.5 degree level uh, sometime in the next 20 to 30 years. We're seeing wildfires currently burning in the West as they seem to do with worse intensity every year now. Uh, New Jersey has already experienced a higher degree of temperature warming uh, than it has been as our neighbors, frankly, because of uh, uh, more urban communities in this state. The co-founder of Evergreen Action, a climate advocacy organization, says the biggest effect in New Jersey will be sea level rise, something echoed by the co-director of Rutgers Climate Institute, Dr. Anthony Broccoli. Depending on how much uh, additional greenhouse gases we put into the atmosphere, uh, sea level could rise by anywhere from, from two to four feet uh, by the end of this century. So that's clearly going to have a large impact in terms of, of coastal flooding. We're going to see increases in temperature that result in more frequent and more intense heat waves. Also, uh, more intense rains. Dr. Anthony Broccoli says the largest contributor to global warming is carbon dioxide followed by methane. How much the world has warmed over the last half century is unprecedented in records going back thousands of years. And, and what we really have to do is essentially reduce greenhouse gas emissions to almost zero. There is a real opportunity to act now. Three different things are being contemplated currently uh, as part of uh, President Biden's agenda and in Congress. Number one, a clean electricity standard, much like that that has been passed by New Jersey lawmakers to drive towards 100% carbon pollution free electricity in the power sector by 2035. Number two, massive investments in clean energy, in electric vehicles, in other innovative technologies. And number three, environmental justice. The UN Secretary General calling this report a, quote, code red for humanity. There certainly have been natural changes in climate that have happened in the past. There were ice ages. Uh, 20,000 years ago, the northern part of New Jersey was covered by an ice sheet. But the causes of the ice ages are known. They were caused by small, slow changes in the Earth's orbit that play out over tens of thousands of years. They can't change the climate in 50 years the way we've seen. The changes in climate that we're seeing now are overwhelmingly the result of human activities. The UN Secretary General warning, quote, Global heating is affecting every region on Earth, with many changes becoming irreversible. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Leah Mishkin. Lead funding for Peril and Promise is provided by Dr. P. Roy Vagalos and Diana T. Vagalos. Major support is provided by the Mark Haas Foundation and Sue and Edgar Wachenheim III and the Cheryl and Philip Milstein family.